I've gotten quite a few requests from you guys to review the Magic John Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I ordered it and now we're going to see what it's all about. Now I'm going to go through the full installation. We're going to see how it fits, how it feels on the phone. And stay with me until the end of the video because I will also be doing a scratch and a drop test to see how durable the screen protector really is. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not the screen protector is right for you. So let's get started. So here we get a squeegee. We get a couple installation packets and we get two tempered glass screen protectors with guides. So the first thing we need to do is to clean off our screen with the number one. Then we'll dry off the screen. Then take one of your installation guides, making sure that the top portion here is going towards the camera on your phone. Just press this over the top of your phone, just like this. Then hold down on the guide with one hand and then we're going to pull out this tab with the other. and just swipe your finger across the bottom here. Then hold down on the guide right here with two hands. We're going to peel up this little sticker here. And it should start to adhere to the phone the rest of the way. Now it looks like it's kind of stuck uh, adhering to the phone. It's just staying right here, it's not moving. So I'm gonna try swiping my finger up on the guide here. And it seems like it's definitely helped it out a little bit more. Kind of pressing down in the arrow. Then when it's done, just lift up on the guide. Then we peel off the top protector. And we'll take a look at the screen. So installation looks fairly good. There's still some bubbles on the side here and down at the bottom. But I'll try to just push those out with my finger. And it looks pretty good. So I was able to get those bubbles out with just, just my finger. This is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover the camera and the sensors on the top. There is also a cover for your speaker grill, which is nice. There does also seem to be a pretty good gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility, which we will be testing out. As far as touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. The edges also seem to be slightly rounded off as well. As far as fingerprints, the screen does seem to pick up some smudges, but can very easily wipe those away with minimal effort. Now let's test out our Face ID. Face ID is working fine. You can see the screen is crystal clear. Touch working fine as well. Now let's take a look at the screen as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. So as you can see, there is a slight rainbow effect when looking at the screen. And when we turn it, it gets a little worse. But if you're looking at it dead on, the screen should look like this. Still very easily readable. So now let's see how lined up the screen protector is. So if we take a look at the sides here, the little white L's are cut off. So it does seem to cover some of the screen. If I turn the screen a little bit, you can now see the full L's on the top and the bottom. So the screen protector does seem to cut off some of the screen. It doesn't seem to be, you know, a big deal to me because again, what's gonna be right at the edge of the screen. Everything on your home screen does have a gap all the way around it. And even if you're looking at web pages, there's still a, you know, a slight gap around the text. So when that's gonna be a problem might only be when you're maybe using a camera to kind of line things up. But other than that, you shouldn't really have any issues. So now let's see if there's a gap on the edge of the screen. And you can see there's a very slight gap between the glass and the screen protector. And the same thing on the other side. Definitely not horrible. So now let's test out our case compatibility. And it does seem like there's a gap on the top, on the bottom, and ever so slight on the sides. No lifting, no bubbles. So. It may be case friendly with some cases. I don't know about all because there's not a big gap on the edges of the screen, 
but if you're wondering, this is the Kadabe sheath case, and it fits perfectly with inside this case. So if you're, if you're going to be using another case, you're just going to have to try it out because there's not much of a gap around the screen. So it's looking pretty good so far. Now let's test out the durability with a drop and a scratch test. So we're going to start off our drop test by dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of 2 feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go, 2 feet. Two feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a two foot drop, and now let's move on to the scratch test. So regular tempered glass starts to scratch around the most hardness number six, so we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally, number seven. So if you take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six and a little deeper at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be about standard for tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was pretty easy. It also may or may not be case friendly with most cases. It lasted up until a two foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be maybe just a tiny bit better than regular tempered glass. So there you go, everybody. It doesn't really seem like there's anything special about the Magic John's tempered glass screen protector versus some of the others that I've tested. And even though it lasted up until a two foot drop, it doesn't mean it's not going to protect your phone. It still will. It just means that it's going to take less to crack the screen versus some of the other tempered glass. So if you guys do want to pick this up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.